independent crafter and designer, as well as host of Craftastic Live. If you miss Craftastic Live, please come visit us every Tuesday evening. That's 7 o'clock Pacific, okay? But tonight, what I'm going to show you is... Babushka! Babushka dolls! These are such fun to work with. This graphic for this babushka doll actually came from great friends over at squigglefly.com. They were lovely enough to send me some really fun graphics that I'm now integrating into a greeting card slash decoration for your holidays. This could be a really fun and really easy project for you to do. All right, let's go on over to Craft Cam. I'll show you how it all works. Okay, so basically, if you've never seen a Russian nesting doll, you have about four to five different shapes and they all nest within each other. So what I did was I went to squigglefly.com. I downloaded this great little graphic which they give you a couple different versions of these dolls so cute there's one that actually has a heart in here i instead of putting it into my design program i downloaded it and actually threw it into my word program because i know not everybody has design programs and i just wanted to see how it worked with just throwing this design into a word program and so what i did was I just dragged and dropped it into my word program, resized them to the different sizes that I need for them to look like they're nesting within each other. You can see here, they look like they're nesting within each other. And then what I did was I printed them out and I colored them in. The big thing in digital stamping is what they call it, digital stamping is using markers to color in your graphics. They call them Copic markers. I don't actually have a branded set of Copic markers, so what I used were um, a, mix, a mix between Sharpie markers and these Prismacolor markers. Really, really easy to use. Now these Prismacolor markers are actually pretty expensive. I've had these for quite some time, but I also have these less expensive Sharpie markers, lots of different sizes and tip sizes and that kind of thing. So I have a whole um, little box full of those. Really easy and fun to use and I definitely recommend um, investing a little bit of money into a good good set of markers. Someday I'm sure I'll have a, a review on Copic, true Copic markers, but these work just fine. The point is, is just to be able to marker in all of your great colors. They can be in the theme of holidays or they could just be super crazy colorful just like these ones that I did. And what I did was I chose about two main colors. So I chose like a red and a green to be my main alternating colors throughout my my little nesting dolls here and then I just kind of filled in some of the supplementary shapes with uh, our secondary and tertiary colors very easy to do and then once I did that and I did all of my different shapes all of my different sizes I mean what I did was because I want to make a, a few of these cute little designs slash decorations I actually taped them down, double-sided taped them down to a piece of paper, and then I photocopied them onto cardstock so that I can have multiple of these little cards that I'm going to send out, and they can be decorations on my friend's countertops or tabletops even. Very, very fun, and I just love dual-purpose cards. They're so much fun to be able to send out a nice greeting and a message and have it also adorn somebody's um, table or, you know, decorative area. It just feels so nice to have that. Okay, so now what you need to do, if you've already colored these in and you want them to be standing up and look like they're nesting, then what you need to do is get yourself about a two inch thick by 14 inch long piece of cardstock. And then you kind of see it has this crazy accordion fold here. This crazy accordion fold is basically going to be your standing up mechanism. What I had to do was take two uh, pieces of cardstock and put them together so that I had the 14 inch length. This is actually a little bit longer so I can just cut it off there. But it's a very, very fun and easy way to get your little babushka dolls to stand up and be these pretty little decorations. Now what I did for the scoring was I actually just kind of temporarily put some tape runner on the backs of these. I lined them up with the bottom of my uh, my piece here. And then, 
And this is just temporary. This is just so I know where to where to score. And oh, that one I'm missing my where did my larger girl go? There she is. I think she's large. Oh no, hold on. Oh no, we're having a craft catastrophe. Here she is. There is my kind of medium large girl here. And then we have kind of the this the simple medium here. So I'm just temporarily doing this so that I can have them spaced out nicely. I know that they're all touching the bottom part of my my little paper here. And then I just get my last one on and the reason why I'm doing that is because I need to know where to score. And the way that I scored was I just you can draw a line with, and you can probably see my lines a little bit easier here, but I, I drew a line with a pencil, and the reason I did a pencil is so that I can erase it. I did a little bit darker so that you guys could see it, but do a light pencil mark, and then just take your scoring tool, or what I like to use is sometimes the end of a pen, or even the end of, um, sometimes I use the end of a paintbrush if it doesn't have any paint left on it. And then I just take that and then I just score right down the middle by using a ruler and that I just follow the ruler down. And then that way I can have that fold up just nicely. Now I, what I want to do is permanently tack those on just by giving them a little bit more tape runner than I gave them before. And the only reason I wasn't I wasn't committing so much to putting them on was just because I wasn't sure how good I was going to be with my, my scoring, which I uh, did prior to taping this, but just giving it a little bit more of my tape, and you can just do it right onto the strip here, and try and make it so that it is as straight up and down as possible, and you know what's actually really helpful is that you have this nice white strip on the back to write your Christmas or holiday message. These babushka dolls are so great because they're kind of um, so colorful that they don't have to represent just one holiday. Okay, so just putting that last one on, which you probably can't see, I'm a little out of frame there. And now we can fold them up. You see that they're perfect, just like so. And then it will just fold out like that. And I just cut off my excess over here. And the reason why I love using my tape runner is if I happen to have, I don't know, it, it's repositionable, but if I happen to have some, some funky lining up or, or something like that, then I can actually just kind of take it off here and then just sort of make her straight again. And she's looking so cute. Look at how colorful and cute they are. And like I said, on squigglefly.com you can find these little dolls and you can do all kinds of things with them. I just wanted to make a really cute little card that folds out into a nice decoration. The last thing that I did was actually wrap around a little little ribbon with a message that says happy holidays and that's a very easy thing to do you just wrap your ribbon around tie a cute little bow and then put a nice little paper message on there that says happy holidays and your your friends will actually have a really good time undoing this imagine all the possibilities you could actually have one for each family member and maybe have their name above it or maybe even a special message below where uh, your little ribbon is and then, like I said on the back it's white so you can write all kinds of messages of love and hope and cheer for your holiday greeting cards. Dual purpose, dual purpose, we love that. It's a decoration and it's a nice sweet greeting card that not a lot of people get. All right, that's that. Don't forget to go to andreacurrycrafts.com to see more fun projects that you can do with paper and all kinds of other materials. See you there.